I'm going to take you inside the trillion dollar AI chip war, where silicon decides power and speed decides everything. At the top sits NVIDIA. Their H100 and next-gen platforms are the golden tickets for training frontier AI models. They don't make most chips themselves, TSMC in Taiwan does. But NVIDIA owns the stack, CUDA software, GPUs, networking and a grip on the most valuable customers on Earth. Challenging them is AMD. With the MI300 and its successors, AMD is closing the gap. Leaner pricing, strong performance per watt and an open software play with ROCM. The pitch? Break free from NVIDIA's lock-in and scale AI without surrendering your margins or your roadmap. Then there's Qualcomm aiming at the edge. Phones, laptops, cars and low-power inference. Their bet is that the next billion AI experiences won't live in the data center. They'll live in your pocket and your dashboard, running on NPUs that sip power and protect privacy. And Samsung, quietly critical. Memory is the bloodstream of AI. High bandwidth memory, or HBM, decides how fast models can think. Samsung and rivals like SK Hynix are the gatekeepers of this flow. Add Samsung's ambitions in foundry and packaging, and you have a supply kingpin that everyone needs on speed dial. Here's the catch. This isn't just business. It's geopolitics. Chips cross oceans multiple times before they're born. TSMC in Taiwan prints the brains. ASML in the Netherlands supplies the EUV tools. The US writes export rules. South Korea ships memory. Japan provides materials. If any link breaks, schedules slip, costs spike, and national strategies wobble. Governments know it. The US Chips Act is pouring tens of billions into domestic fabs and advanced packaging. Europe and Japan are doing the same. Export controls are reshaping who can buy top-tier AI chips and what performance is allowed. It's a balance of innovation, security and influence, played at nanometer scale. So who wins? In the short term, NVIDIA. Demand outstrips supply and CUDA is a moat, but look closer. AMD is landing hyperscale deals. Qualcomm is embedding AI into the fabric of everyday devices. Samsung's HBM ramps are the throttle for everyone, even packaging. Think CoWAS and 2.5D 3D stacking has become a battlefield because bandwidth wins models. For investors, this is a layered stack of opportunity and risk. GPU leaders, memory suppliers, substrate makers, advanced packaging houses, AI networking and power systems for data centers. Boom cycles feel inevitable, but shortages, geopolitics and standard shifts can snap momentum overnight. For builders, it's about choice. Lock into NVIDIA's speed and software gravity, or diversify. AMD accelerators, mixed clusters, edge inference with Qualcomm, and memory-centric architectures tuning for cost per token, cost per query, and latency. For society, the outcome shapes who sets AI rules. Compute access decides which labs lead, which countries deploy, and which industries transform first, from drug discovery to robotics to education. The trillion dollar question isn't just who ships the fastest chip, it's who controls the lanes to get silicon from idea to impact. Right now, the race is on. Design in California, print in Taiwan, package in Asia, regulate in Washington and Brussels, and deploy everywhere. In other words, the AI future runs on a supply chain, fragile, powerful, and very much up for grabs. If you're watching for the finish line, don't. Watch the bottlenecks. That's where winners are made.